it's actually um, a, a, a similarity between tents and sex dolls in that you can buy them with a uh, three-man capacity. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a big flap at the front. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes at the back, if you like it. <laughs> Drunky Bay shopper mortified when obscene rude purchase arrives the next day. Okay. Like the sound of this. Right. A man has been left feeling mortified <laughs> after his drunken online shopping exploits left him with an embarrassing and, quite frankly, suspicious looking delivery. The anonymous eBayer turned to online shopping to drown his sorrows after watching England lose in the Euro 2020 final against Italy, which was, of course, a sad evening for many. Okay? You might not be aware of this, Lloyd, living in Australia and being Welsh and everything, but there was a Euro 2020 <laughs> football tournament. It only took place recently in 2021. England lost to Italy in the final. Mm-hmm. Barry, very sad for an Englishman. I was very sad. Uh, this man got drunk watching the game, and then to drown his sorrows, he went on eBay. Are we with it? Okay. But eBay doesn't... What? E- eBay's not instant. Oh, you mean it's not instant gratification? No, yeah. but you still get the satisfaction of buying something and then the anticipate. So you don't but get the instant not... treat. I know what you mean. But also bids happen in like three days, so it's not. It's really. No, there's a buy it now. There's a oh. buy it now. Oh. Yeah. I can't. I can't answer for him. I don't know him, <laughs> and he was drunk, and he's disappointed. He's sad. He's gone on okay, eBay. Go on, That's how he's chosen to drown his sorrows. There's right. many other things he could have done. Yeah. Gone for a bit of retail therapy, hasn't he? A bit of online retail therapy. For a bit of a boost. For a bit of a boost, okay. right? While most people use shopping therapy to purchase snazzy new clothes... Snazzy. ...or designer <laughs> items... That's what eBay is, isn't it? It's either snazzy clothes or designer items. Most people use shopping therapy to purchase snazzy new clothes or even designer items, such as watches or other jewellery. <laughs> In case you were wondering, what kind of bracelets, thing? Yeah, yeah, bracelet, for example, yeah, yeah clasps, uh, like a, uh, yeah, what? clasps, yeah, clasps. clasps, brooch. Yeah, I mean that's classic. Cheer me up uh, shopping. That is. What's a clasp? I'm going to buy a clasp. I'm so fed up. <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd. Oh fuck this! I'm off to buy a clasp. Is... The only way I'll get. Is <laughs> the only thing a clasp a piece of jewelry? Is it a piece of jewelry? <laughs> what a clasp? A clasp, yeah. I, I don't think really it's know. part of a brooch. Yeah, <laughs> it's the bit. It's the... without it. It would just Imagine. be a ring. If you get out for a romantic <laughs> dinner and you open a box and it's a clasp. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, d- yeah. Hey, spoiler alert. It's your birthday coming soon. <laughs> it's not, though. <laughs> it's not, it's not, no. it's not that's not bad, It's not, which gives me plenty of time to find a good clasp. <laughs> get a brooch to go with it. He's turned to online shopping, right? But instead of purchasing snazzy clothes or even designer items such as a clasp, right? For reasons which even he can't explain. That's the real Oh, here we go. <laughs> What's he bought? Butt plug? Big old butt plug. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, nothing cheers you up like a butt plug after a disappointed match. So it takes your mind off it. No, <laughs> after not after only, a disappointed final, <laughs> nothing not cheers you up like a butt plug. Buying it, but putting a bid on it. Yeah? Yeah, it's a not, it's not a butt plug, so that's just right. Lloyd's. What is that was, it? That was Lloyd's uh, pontification. Right? For reasons even he can't explain. He found himself purchasing a life-size sex doll. Oh, okay. <laughs> on eBay? Life-size. E- on eBay. Exactly. On eBay. Fucking <laughs> Second hand. I mean, in reasons I can't even... Exp- I, I, mean, I think I can explain it. I don't know if he needs help <laughs> explaining what's going on. I think I can explain why he's bought a life-size sex doll. <laughs> yeah. your partner. Why have you bought this life-size sex doll? I, I, honestly, if I knew that, I'd be the happiest man alive. Yeah. I just don't know. I can't even explain it myself. One minute, I have my head in my hands after the penalties. <laughs> <laughs> Next minute, she turns Next up. Thing. Looking, like, Next looking thing surprised. Know. Next thing I know, I've pressed buy it now on a life-size sex doll on eBay. Yeah. I don't know who looks more surprised, me or the sex doll. <laughs> if that was a local newspaper, there'd be definitely a picture of both of them like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, you wait till you see if, the if, pictures. If, if you oh, are God, buying a sex, if you are buying a sex doll, then you, I mean, you have to go life-size. Yeah. You, know, good, yeah. you can't you can't be getting one to scale. You can't have giant. Yeah. Well, you can't you can't have like a, a modern version of Hamble off place to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Campbell was terrible. The man, you wait to see the picture. The man who hails from Colville in Leicestershire, I know Colville, Leicestershire, says he then headed off to bed to sleep off the heavy boozing session <laughs> before forgetting all about his rather unusual purchases. It's not that unusual, is it? <laughs> well, in fact, it wasn't until the next day when he received a shipping notification <laughs> confirming his purchase was on its way. You know, you get those notifications saying your yeah. purchase is on its way. I've had some several times this week myself. Not for a sex doll, mine was for a tent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to scale. Right. Confirming his purchase was on its way, that he remembered that that's when he remembered it. He wasn't until he received the shipping notification that he remembered. There's actually, there's actually um, a, a, a similarity between tents and sex dolls. In that you can buy them with a uh, three-man capacity. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a big flap at the front. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes at the back, if you're lucky. Hey! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Hey, the one I've got has got a hole for a stovepipe. <laughs> <laughs> now tell us about your tent. <laughs> Yeah, so what did he do? Right, so he's got a shipping notification. He's remembered that the sex doll is on its way. That he's bought a sex doll. By this time, it was too late to cancel it, he says. As possibly, if. possibly. To make matters worse, he says the packaging was far from discreet. And he was out <laughs> at work when it was delivered to his new neighbour. There it is. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not like, even in a box. It looks like a crash test dummy. <laughs> Just to uh, let the listeners know, uh, it's essentially, well, it's a doll that's wrapped in, in brown paper. You can Literally. even see the breasts. It looks like yeah, a you can even see the sex doll, human shape, completely wrapped as a human shape in yeah. brown paper. Like and a mummy. You know the, mummified you know in brown paper with a big label on the front. You know the positioning of a sex doll when they've got their arms like this and the mouth. Yes, yeah, you they, can totally see it. Yes, they are, they are, they are. <laughs> They are usually sort of in in a position, an accommodating, arms outstretched, welcoming, a welcoming position. The sex doll, generally, isn't it? Is it? That is what we've got here, wrapped in brown paper. You can see it on the uh, <laughs> on uh, on the video. Imagine getting that delivered. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> it arrived in the post earlier than expected today, and needless to say, I am mortified. I was at work, so my neighbour, who has just moved in, <laughs> <laughs> not staying long. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. My neighbour who's just moved in agreed to sign for it because That's I was so out. Funny. To add to my horror, I dread to know what she is thinking. So you went round there, went, what? hi, I think you've got a parcel for me. Hi, it's Mike, by the way, from next door. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> the shopper also, admitted. Can I, uh, can I get a plus one for your upcoming uh, housewarming? <laughs> <laughs> I think you've already met him, actually. <laughs> The shopper admitted that as soon as he opened the creepy purchase, he immediately wanted to get rid of it, but couldn't face the embarrassment of taking it back to the post office. <laughs> Can you imagine in the queue? Or being spotted at the dump. <laughs> Nick Ferry. Very difficult. Yeah, what, sk- what skip does that go in? Oh, God. Oh. I opened it up and, oh, my God, it's hideous. I don't know what to do with it. I'm so embarrassed. What do I do with how it? Much, well, how much was it? Don't know yet. We haven't got to that. I can't sell it on Facebook Marketplace, as that would involve getting it out of the house. Neighbours seeing it. Returning it under eBay's return policy <laughs> would involve going to the post office, a.k.a. social suicide. I mean, that's true of going to the post office generally. <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> do you know what I would do if I was in his situation? What's that? I would... Dress it in some unwanted clothes, you know, that I was going to donate to charity or something. Lloyd, yeah. this is a I film. Would, <laughs> I would put it in um, a black bag or if I didn't have a black bag, like a sleeping bag or something. Then I would go to my have you, nearest have you, pipe. Have you killed before? Yeah, this is very well <laughs> thought out. I would dissolve it in a bath of acid, just say. <laughs> Take out his no. teeth and cut off his fingertips. <laughs> Break its legs, put it in the boot. <laughs> like what? <laughs> is, is it? I've dressed it. It's dressed now, right? Is yeah. it yeah. clothes? It's dressed now. It, I mean, your you, your fashion sense is pretty bad. So it's dressed now in some of your your hand me downs. <laughs> yeah. so it's dressed like you circa two thousand and fourteen. <laughs> 
That would yeah. get Check it, shirt. Get in a sl- sleeping, <laughs> sleeping bag, bag or black bag or something. Yeah. Then I'd go to the nearest Primark, walk in. Just leave it. Confident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you got? Have you got it with you? Have you got the sex doll with you? Yeah, at the no, it's with me. In the I'm, I'm walking into the shop, but in it's in the bag. bag. It's, it's hidden. Oh, and what are you, how are you going to hide its feet? Because it's got your shoes on. Remember? Why it's is got it mess. dressed like? Why have you dressed like you? It's got a bit of your own size twelve sticking out the bottom of the bag. <laughs> No, it's just got clo- I've put clothes on it. All right, so I'm you saying. haven't dressed it like you. So you've got to say <laughs> well, in effect. Right. Yeah. And Nico. It looks like Lloyd circa 2014. Right. That's what we're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whip it out of the bag. Yeah. Put it in the window with the other mannequins and walk out whistling and oh, twiddling see. my thumbs. Ah. I mean, that that's very clever, is like. a brilliant. Why don't you just stick a knife in it and then put it in the bin? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Lloyd, have you got, <laughs> have you got rid it. of a sex doll in Primark before? <laughs> Why would you stick a knife in it before it's putting inf- it in the bin? They're, they're imagine, getting caught, aren't they? imagine getting caught at that point. <laughs> Someone walks in your house. I didn't mean I was going to stab it. I stab him up. I mean, aren't they inflatable? Don't you? <laughs> but that'd be worse, yeah, wouldn't it? Worse than someone catching you with a sex doll. And he's getting, going, I don't know why I ordered this. I've got to get rid of it. And someone walks in just as you're stabbing the sex doll. <laughs> oh, my God. What are they into? It's better than Lloyd smuggling him out looking, look, looking like a mini me of 2014. Massive feet. Looking like a twin. <laughs> why is it in a sleeping bag? Oh, just to cover it. To hide yeah, it. Just hide it stick, a, stick a knife in it just to let it down. No, no, no. The sleeping it, bag. But why don't you just deflate it and put it in the bin? Rod, 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 Rod. Yeah. Wait, it's it's 2021 now. You don't. It's not like Are inflatable not sex dolls anymore. You, oh, sorry, oh. I haven't kept up with the with the, with, <laughs> technology. with the technology. What do they make them with these days, Lloyd? Well, they've they've got fully pausable joints. They've got silicone. What's yours? Carbon got... fibre. <laughs> <laughs> Super strength and that lightweight, so you can take it on tour with you. You try and put a knife in in a modern day sex doll and it's going to disarm you and then sit in your face. (laughs) 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 They're all all martial arts trained, are they, these days? That one doesn't look like it has mobile joints, though. That's No, like like a a normal sex doll. They're quite realistic, the new ones. Look at the picture when they got. Oh, it is one of the new ones. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. You're not putting a knife in that. (laughs) 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 You fancy her, I do, taking a bit of a shine to her. Uh, look at this. It says, going to the tip, says the uh, guy. Going to the tip would be double social suicide. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Whatever that is. Not to mention if the police pull me over, thinking I'm disposing of a real body. <laughs> Does anyone know if Colville Tip has CCTV? <laughs> <laughs> Where's he asking that? <laughs> On this, some forum about trying to get rid of it. <laughs> Does anyone suggest- have any other suggestions? Hey, Lloyd, we'll... Certainly be putting yours forward. <laughs> Smuggling them a... into Primark and putting them in with the other mannequins. <laughs> That's such a dodgy thing to ask. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, people were left bemused by the drunken mishap, with several Facebook users even offering to take it off his hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've had one a rough day, owner. says one. This is, this is from uh, one, one poster on a forum responding. <laughs> said, I've had a rough day. Thank you for cheering me up. LOL. Find a farmer's field. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Find a farmer's field and put it under the cattle grid. Somebody's done that before. <laughs> what a it's really weird specific. Thing to that is really specific. Why? I don't know. While another commented, use it as a burglar alarm when you're out. Stand it up so its shadow can be seen. That's from McCorney Culkin. Yeah, that's from Home Alone. <laughs> hey, it's Home Alone from Magic. Is it Magic Johnson? Or, uh, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, something like Michael that. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, one genuinely helpful commenter tried to help by offering the man a 60-inch TV box that could be... Like, look at we, have a, we have a box for a 60-inch telly that needs to go. If you message me privately, we'll come, get it in the box, take her away and throw her on the bonfire. <laughs> Flipping it. You can't burn You though. really can get everything on the yeah. internet these days, can't you? You can't burn that. She's not a witch. Yeah, all, all, all the chemicals I meant chemically. All that, <laughs> yeah. not, not morally. While it is unclear what became of the sex doll's fate, we're pretty sure the man will be staying away from eBay after one too many drinks from now on. No, he won't. He'll be back on there immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and if you enjoyed that, why not listen to the whole podcast? It is The Froth, available on iTunes, iTunes 
Acast, Spotify, Spotify, anywhere you usually get your podcasts. Wherever you usually get your podcasts, YouTube. You can like, rate, subscribe, comment, say uh, nice things comment, about it, say nice things, and hit. Hit the bell icon. Hit at the, the bell icon on YouTube so that you will be alerted when the videos are uploaded. uploaded. Check it out. It is the froth. Yesterday's, Yesterday's non-news, non-news today. today.